Good afternoon, and welcome once again to my daily chat. <laughs> this is episode number 696. The countdown begins for, or continues, four more left to 700, um, which is another milestone. Topic today is every relationship begins with you, and this is how to improve all of them. That's kind of a giveaway right there, but I want to explain what I mean in case you didn't get it and give you some tips, keys, guidance, suggestions to help you on your road to having better relationships with everybody. It's a tall order I know in a short broadcast, but we'll see what I can do. Before I do that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am or what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I help women create balance in love, life, and business, which is why I do all this work I do, and also I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And frankly, um, it's fun. <laughs> I'm editing this every day because it keeps me connected, but also it delivers a service to certain people who watch this. Not everybody does, but I understand that. So today the topic is, well, the episode number is 696. And the topic is, every relationship begins with you, how to improve all of them. That's kind of a giveaway, as I said, because reality is, if every relationship begins with you, if you change the relationship with yourself, it should improve everybody else. First, let me explain the mechanics of why that works. And they'll give you some tips on how it works, what you can do to actually make it work. Yes, that works. <laughs> if you haven't seen my broadcast before, by the way, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook, and then put it in other places too, and I'll give you the links about those at the back end of the broadcast. And also give you a couple of links that may be relevant to this topic once I get going. So let's get going. So every relationship begins with you because you are the core of your life. I mean, it sounds obvious saying it that way. But if you think about every relationship, whether it's with your spouse, with your parents, your employer, your employees, the police, the FB, you know, the IRS, the government, and all those different things, everything out there, everything out there, and everyone out there is perceived through the lens of who you are. This, again, this is really num. This is basic stuff. But since this is Sunday, and it's a spiritual day, sort of, kinda, I thought I'd drop some deeper truths on you. To me, this is very obvious stuff, and I think for most of the people watching this, you see it's obvious too. If not, this may be a like, whoa, didn't think of that before. If that's the case, I'll tend to be gentle, but, <laughs> but I'm intending to give you some useful insight you can use in your daily life. So first of all, every relationship you have out there starts with the one inside because every relationship involves two people, two aspects, you and that person. So it doesn't matter who that person out there is. Again, it could be employer, it could be family, it could be government can be anything it's your relationship with them that counts and let me just say this quickly to change all those relationships would be a multiple lifetimes worth of work so I wouldn't recommend trying to do that necessarily now you might be able to fix some relationships with helping them not that I encourage that anyway but I say the one you can do easily is to look in the mirror and deal with one inside I'm just thinking I'll just make that point any I think I made the point 17 times by now. You've got the point that basically all the relationships out there are affected by the one inside of you. So let me give you some keys on one about what you might be noticing and two, how to fix it. Not fix, improve it, that's a better word. First of all, if you notice that all the people around you seem to be um, angry all the time, it's quite possible, quite possible that that anger originated inside of you and that you're seeing through a lens of anger so that everything out there reflects anger back to you. Now this is a this is again this is more metaphysical and also um, elevated perspective. Because a lot of people go, no, 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 it's all them. It's not me. It's all it's all them. You can only get away with that for so long. At some point in time, you'll notice that what keeps coming back to you is the same feedback. Like you notice the same thing happening out there: anger, 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 anger. Maybe there's some anger inside of you that hasn't been resolved yet. Alternatively, maybe. You're afraid of the anger that's inside of you because that's the other side of the co same coin. So that's one ex example. There's plenty of other ones out there. It could be the same thing of being um, having no time to do, having no time to connect and sit down, being reflected back to you because what you're doing to yourself and other people. So those are the sort of those are simple illustrations to indicate how everything out there reflects back to yourself. And at the same time, at the same time, it's what you deal with yourself that can change everything. So again, flip the coin, the other, flipping the story the other way. If you start taking care of yourself in a whole other level where you become respectful of who you are, you listen to what you're saying, 
and you also watch your thinking, because these are different things you can do, you might start noticing that other people treat you differently because you're in a different place. I actually almost guarantee that. I'm not going to say I will guarantee it because everyone's different and how well you do it, it's up to you. But what I've been really clear about in my own journey, because I've had this journey myself, that when I was starting to realize for myself where I was holding myself in higher respect for myself because I was going through some situations where I felt like I was being used by other people, when I started really respecting myself, first of all, I didn't say yes all the time. That was a big, big change, by the way. I started saying no more often. But secondly, people started respecting me more. I was respecting myself. They started respecting me almost, almost automatically. It's one of the side effects of doing the work on yourself, which is why I've been such a proponent of personal development, human growth, all this other informant work that I've done over many, many years, which is basically interwoven to all the work I do. It's a fundamental teaching. Another part of that is that when you take better care of yourself, you actually have more energy to take care of other people. So if you're somebody who's in service to other people, maybe in your job or in your social life or in your family dynamics, it's so tempting to keep giving, 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 but you're not draining yourself to do it. When you take care of yourself more fundamentally, you put yourself first in your life and you may have to say no to some of those people some of the time, but when you do that for yourself first, you become more of a resource to help other people. Hi, Mary. Nice, nice to see you again, so quickly. You had a friend tell you that people don't love, love you for the times you say yes to them. Interesting. See, that's an interesting thing, because I, I, I used, personally, I used to think that in the old days, if I said yes, people would like me more. And the way that's is the other way around. It's like, no, they don't, say, they don't like me. They wouldn't like me for that. And frankly, I would oftentimes not like myself for saying yes to things I didn't want to say yes to. When I say no, and it's happened in different kinds of reasons, to say, no, it doesn't, this is not going to work. I took back control and I actually found I respected myself more for saying no. And yes, down the road, they respected me more too. So I guess that does bear out what you said, Mary. So yeah, you're right. So that's a piece about understanding why it works and how it works. And then I'm gonna teach you, show you some of the principles of what you can do. And these are some tidbits of things I'm gonna be teaching in my course, which I'll mention later on. Well, I mentioned it now already, didn't I? Um, I'll put a link in the comments at the end, which is for a, a course called Coming Home to Yourself that I'm launching the end of next week. The plan is next the end of next week. It's going to teach lots of these principles. So I'm giving you some teasers now to have you do some things. Like, for example, one of those is saying no more often. If you're someone who's always saying yes, because you, you may be like I was a people pleaser. Yes, I was a people pleaser. Hi, my name is Barry, and I used to be a people pleaser. Um, one of the biggest lessons for me was saying no. And it because it, it, a lot of times I'm saying yes, to be in places where I thought I'd be able to get involved in something that would be much more fun. But 99% of the time, it was always draining me out. I wasn't feeling fulfilled and I never enjoyed where I was anyway. So when I said no, I became more selective of the things I said yes to. And I said yes to things that I wanted to participate in versus saying yes to what people wanted from me when I wasn't, wasn't willing to do it. By saying no more often, I just took back control and dominion over my choices. And for you, that might be a game changer if you're somebody who's always been saying yes. Yes, recovered people pleaser, exactly. Nice one, Mary. So that's one tool you can apply, impl you can implement right now, today. Maybe you go to work tomorrow and the same old people keep nagging you for things that you basically don't need to do, but they want it from you because you've always said yes in the past. See what happens if you said no. Because the thing is, if you say no, at first you might be going, oh God, what are they gonna think? I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That might be upset with me. Well, maybe, maybe not because it may take a couple of seconds for them to get to really adjust to your new way of being because up to this point, because you always said yes, when you said no, it's gonna jar them. But they might go, okay, I can get with that. And if they don't respect you, they don't deserve your respect either. Because the respect is a two-way street. That's another piece, by the way, I'll give you this one as well. Because in, in, in the course, actually, it's a whole topic on self-respect. Part of it is the willingness to say no, because it's about boundaries. A lot of what people, um, a lot of what, I was dealing with, so I said personally, was it did not always set good boundaries to people. So I get steamrolled over and I would get used basically without any argument. Again, not saying yet, not saying no, but saying yes. So boundaries is a powerful part of this work to retransform really and to shift your understanding of your own um, your own boundaries. So it makes it healthier. So that's a key piece because when you, fix, when you build your boundaries as in strong and healthy, not to block people out, but to, to honor yourself and respect yourself, 
you start rebuilding your own self-respect. These are some of the, the tools and things I'm teaching in this course called, again, Coming Home to Yourself. It's 13 weeks, which is three months, which each week has a different self-reflective practice. So it's self-respect, self-confidence, self-trust. Um, what's some other ones I've got in there? Self-care, um, self-confidence. There's a bunch of them in there. But each one is a powerful element that's gonna help you become really fundamentally aligned to yourself so that every relationship out there will change. If you've been watching my broadcast for the last almost 700 broadcasts, you know I talk a lot about love and relationships. In that journey, I've been very much about helping people find better ways to love. But what I really come back to every single time, because I want to talk about this today, is that underneath all of the work I was doing with my clients, it always started with the relationship with self. I never marketed it that way. I kept that secret. It's like, my secret weapon is going to help you love yourself. No, I'd help you find love out there. That was the, that was the shingle held out there and also the um, optimistic intention. So people go, yeah, I want to find love. But the secret weapon would be, I'd help you love yourself. <laughs> now I decided to drop the charade. Now it's like, let me help you love yourself, <laughs> which is what this is about. Because really, that's what it comes back to. The longest relationship you'll ever have is one with yourself. So why not make that one the best relationship of your life? Hmm, there's a good question. What if your goal every day was to have a healthier relationship with yourself than you did the day before? If you make that your intention every day, it's going to change your life dramatically in a week, a month, a year. And every relationship out there, because it's a reflection of the relationship with yourself, as I said in the title, will also start to raise with the same place because you're choosing to raise your own vibration, your own relationship with yourself. This is why I do this work. This is also the journey I've been on for a long time with my own relationship. So I'm teaching from my own experience. I'm just checking that's true. <laughs> Some of the things I'm teaching are stuff I've learned, not always practiced because I already had them in place or I'm still practicing them, just to be transparent. But a lot of the stuff I'm teaching is stuff I've learned through the School of Hard Knocks and through really good teachers. So that's what I'm presenting. So in this course, again, coming home to yourself, I'll put a link in the comments. If you want to go to it on my website, it's my name, barryselby.com forward slash coming home. There isn't a link on my website to type in the full address to get there. There's no, um, there's just a simple description. It's a very basic web page. It explains what it is, with a little logo. And at the bottom is a link to, to book a chat with me because this course is not a fixed tuition course. It's a pay what aligns to you. And it really is about integrity and about commitment and about investment. So there's a little link at the bottom of the page so you can just book a call with me so we can chat and come up with what works for you and also what works in the course. Because my, my feeling is that the, when you invest with something, you get results. If you don't invest, you tend not to. What that is for you is up to you. So again, that'll be in, that'll be in the, um, the link will be in the comments. That's what you want to teach today. Simple teaching, simple understanding, simple insight to give you some clues, some steps, how to have a better relationship with yourself, which in... Which in um, in the process will improve every relationship with around you. That's really it. I appreciate you watching. This is a short broadcast. It's a week, my, yeah, it is a bit shorter. My weekend broadcasts usually are shorter because it is um, not as formal as my weekday ones, hence the casual attire. Um, but I hope this has been a value to you. Simple teaching, simple, pow powerful teaching is what I like to deliver. That's what I'm going to bring in, bring in the course over the next uh, three months and I'd like you to join me. I'll put a link in the comments again so you can find out, check it out and have a look for yourself. Um, if you have questions, thoughts about this broadcast, please put it below and I'll respond when I sign off. And if you want to share it with anybody you want to share, it, if you want to share it with anybody you want to share it with, if you want to share it with anybody you think you should see this, please share it with them. Um, and again, all oh, replays. This is my Facebook Live I do every day on my personal page on Facebook at 5 p.m. Pacific time, which is Barry Selby, sorry, facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replay has gone to my business page, which is facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author please like my page and also a YouTube channel because I put them onto YouTube afterwards for backup and for another resource um, if you go to YouTube and find me at Barry Selby that's my YouTube ch channel please subscribe to that there is a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine and that's about it I appreciate you watching again links will be in the comments or I see the link will be in the comments and I uh, hope it's been of help to you if you're around tomorrow watch me at 5pm Pacific time if not you can watch the replay of course all the replays are out and uh, that's about it. Take care of yourself, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.